How's it going folks, Eric here. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I'm on a bit of a casual slash recovery ride here in Charleston, South Carolina. So I wanted to take this opportunity to give you my long-term review on these cargo bib shorts from Suki.cc. This is actually my second time shooting this review video because in the editing process, I realized that I missed a few key details that I wanted to tell you about, both about the shorts and just in the interest of transparency because Suki did send me these shorts to review for this video. Let me find a spot up here to pull over and let's talk about these cargo bib shorts. So before I get too far into this video, there are a few things I wanna to talk to you about in the interest of full transparency. I watch a lot of online reviews here on YouTube and anytime I see a sponsored review or somebody who's reviewing a product they receive for free, especially when there is an affiliate link involved, I do start to ask a lot of questions. So I'm gonna answer all of those questions right off the bat. First off, Suki.cc contacted me on my Instagram account and asked me if I would be willing to review these cargo bib shorts if they sent them to me for free. There are a few things I wanted to clarify with them even before they sent them to me before I agreed to do it. Number one, I wanted to make sure that I could give them my full unbiased review. I could talk about all of the bad as well as all of the good. And they were so confident in their product, they agreed to that. They said, we would love for you to talk about it. I'm gonna tell you everything good, bad about these shorts. Second, let's talk about the affiliate link to these shorts in this video. I do have a link in the description where you can buy these shorts at suki.cc and get 15% off using that link and the code ERIC. They asked me to put that link in there. It does save you 15% off the list price. Right now on the website, I believe these shorts retail for $65.99. That's US dollars. And when you get that 15% off, I do get a small amount of money when you purchase the shorts, around as much as a cup of coffee costs. So I'm always wary when people are doing videos that I wonder if they're getting paid by the company to shoot it. I wonder how much of a cut they're getting when they post affiliate link. I'm not getting any money to make this video. I only got the shorts for free. I only get about a cup of coffee anytime anybody buys these shorts through the affiliate link. And I just wanted to make sure you knew that. The third thing that I wanted to talk to you about is that I've actually had these cargo bibs since May. I watch a lot of reviews on YouTube, and although I do like watching an unboxing or initial impression video, I really put more stock in long-term reviews. What good does it do me as a consumer if somebody's initial impression is really good, but over time the product doesn't hold up? So one thing I wanted to make sure that I did before I told you my impression of these bib shorts is, I wanted to wear them over time. I've been wearing these on rides for about four months now. I've washed them with other clothing. I dry them in the dryer, although I know you're not supposed to do that. I wanted to make sure that these shorts held up over the course of these four months. None of the seams are fraying or I didn't want the chamois to start losing its padding. So this is my long-term review of these bibs and I just wanted to make sure that you knew all of that information going into this review. A few weeks ago, I put out a video called The Battle of the Budget Bibs where I reviewed three bib shorts from three different companies. In that video, I talked about bibs from the Black Bibs, from Perswalski, which is a company you can get off of Amazon. And I reviewed a pair of bibs from Suki Sports. Now, at the time, I was under the impression that Suki Sports and Suki.cc were actually the same company. I didn't realize they were two different things. But upon further inspection and looking online, Suki Sports and Suki.cc are indeed two different companies. A lot of the time when that happens, People start to ask questions. I'm not gonna get too far in the weeds today. I'll post that meme off to the side of Charlie from Always Sunny with all the red yarn. I'm not gonna get too far in the weeds about that. All I'm gonna talk about is these bib shorts are from suki.cc. The link is to suki.cc, and this review is only gonna pertain to suki.cc. I just wanted to make sure you were aware of that as well. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about these cargo bibs. So these are the men's cargo bibs, size large. 
I'm about five foot 10, about 190 pounds. And the sizing chart and the person that was contacting me from Suki recommended the size large. I shot some footage back at the house of me trying these on. I'm gonna cut some clips in while I'm talking about these. So first off, let's talk about the fit. The size large actually fit me perfectly. Not too tight around the leg. Uh, the material at the bottom of the leg was not too tight or restricting. Around the midsection fit me perfectly. I found that other bib shorts sometimes can fit me a little tight or loose around the midsection or maybe even ride a little too high or low. These fit me perfectly around the midsection. Sometimes in cargo bibs, you can have the straps feel a little bit too long or too short, which would make them either feel loose or ride up the shorts too tight. I found that the sizing on Suki.cc is incredibly accurate, at least to my own measurements and weight. So I have to give the fit an A. The second thing that I look for in a pair of cycling bibs or cycling shorts is the chamois. The chamois pad is so important because it's what's going to be touching the seat and basically protecting some very important parts on your body. I found that cheaper cycling shorts and bib shorts tend to either have a chamois that is too thin, it's not offering you a lot of protection. Sometimes they're too thick. And another thing that you get in cheaper cycling shorts or cycling bibs are a chamois that is the same thickness all the way through. Now the chamois on these Suki.cc cargo bibs is actually tapered. And you'll find that in the higher quality chamois in higher quality cycling shorts. What that taper does is it just basically sits more naturally on you and where you contact the seat. And it's more comfortable and it doesn't chafe quite as much as a chamois that is the same thickness all the way through. I've ridden these shorts on many types of different rides up to three and four hours. I've gone 60 and 70 miles in these shorts before and I've been comfortable the entire time. I've not had any rubbing or chafing that you might find in a cheaper cycling bib. They've been very comfortable for those three and four hour rides and the padding has not diminished over the four months of me washing and drying these. So I would have to give the chamois on these bibs overall an A minus or a B plus. Now I do have some cycling bibs that cost two and three times as much as these that I trust those chamois for my century rides. I've even done a 200 mile ride before that I wore some different bibs before, but understand those bibs cost me twice as much and they weren't twice as good. So A minus B plus on the chamois. Another thing that I look for in a good quality pair of shorts or bibs is I like a grippy material at the bottom of the leg here. So I'll cut to a close up of this, but these bibs do have a really good grippy material, makes them not ride up or, or change where they are during the course of the ride. It's not too tight. It's about almost two inches worth of grippy material and it makes that sit on your leg just perfectly. I will give that an A+. Another really good feature in these Suki.cc bibs are the straps. These straps are incredibly low profile. Um, I have bibs where they're larger straps and they have like big seams down the side. While that's not a deal breaker for me, sometimes they do dig into your shoulder or cause undue chafing over time. But these really low profile straps, they have a good amount of stretch to them. So they're fitting you just right. Um, I really like the straps on these. So I would give them an A as well. Another feature that I really didn't even think about until I got these particular pair of bibs are right here, there is some really breathable mesh in these. And I live in Charleston, South Carolina, where it is very hot a lot of the time. And having more breathable material on my cycling gear just makes me feel a lot more comfortable when I'm out in the heat. So uh, bonus points for this really kind of stretchy, breathable material. I really like it. Another kind of extra bonus that you get in these Suki.cc bibs are there are no tags on the inside. All of the sizing information is actually printed inside the short itself. Not having a tag in there, did not realize how good of a feature that was going to be until a tag wasn't there. Sometimes you can have a tag, if it's placed in a strange spot, it could become a bit of an annoyance in wearing the shorts. So bonus points for no tags in these. So now let's talk about the cargo pockets. 
I had never actually owned a pair of cargo bibs before, and when I had seen them before, I would always wondered if, when you're wearing things in those pockets, do you feel them? Does it become an annoyance? And I was very surprised even the first time I put these bibs on and started loading these pockets. Number one, just how much stuff I can fit in them. And number two, how little I feel what's in those pockets while I'm riding. So the pockets on these bibs, one on either side, sort of a breathable mesh and stretchy material. I've found that you can fit quite a bit in these pockets. I've ridden with a phone in them, wallet in them. I've had cliff bars, goo packets. You could ride with CO2 cartridges in these if you're doing maybe mountain or gravel. I've even done a ride before where I had a small collapsible selfie stick stuffed into one of these pockets and that fit great. And actually I was very surprised on how I didn't feel that while I was riding. It's kind of become a meme where uh, somebody compliments a woman on her dress and she says, thanks, it has pockets. And I'm ready for that meme to come over to the cycling world where somebody says, hey, nice cycling bibs. And you say, oh, thanks, they have pockets. So it's been really nice having these pockets and these bibs, especially on a day like today where I can just throw on a tank top and go for a ride and carry a wallet and a cell phone in my bib pockets. The only negative that I've seen in these bib shorts in the four months that I've ridden with them is there is one spot where they show just a little bit of wear on the seat. And I've actually had that exact same wear spot show up in many of my cycling shorts and bibs. And what I would attribute that to is I always unclip the same foot when I come to a stop. Force of habit, I guess, but always unclipping the same foot, always putting the same foot down. So I think that attributes to that one wear spot that I have on cycling shorts. Like I said earlier, I do have more expensive cycling bibs and those more expensive cycling bibs are the ones I tend to turn to when I'm riding 100 plus miles. But just keep in mind, those cycling bibs are two to three times the cost of these bibs, which really leads into who do I think these bibs are for? Um, myself, I actually hadn't gotten into cycling bibs until last year. I'd always ridden with shorts. So when I was first looking at the price of cycling bibs and I saw most of them cost $100, $150, sometimes even $200, that scared me off of buying them because I can't just have one pair. Uh, you don't want to wash bibs every single time you go for a ride. You want to have a few pairs. So what I really like about these Suki.cc bibs are for the price of a super high-end, name brand, trendy brand bib, you could get three pair of these and really get more for your money, in my opinion. So really, I think these bibs are for the beginner all the way up to the intermediate rider that needs quite a few sets of bibs in their closet that they can grab and go for a ride. If you're gonna go for a race or if you're gonna go for a century ride or a big ride, of course you're gonna gravitate to the most expensive pair of bibs that you own. I think we all have uh, a jersey or a pair of bibs in our, in our equipment that if it's the important ride or the big ride that that's the particular one you grab but you also need some everyday bibs. And like I said, up to three, four hours, these bibs did the job and they felt great. So overall, I would give these cargo bibs by Suki.cc an A grade. Are they as good as bibs that cost three times as much? Probably not, but are bibs that cost three times as much, three times as good? Definitely not. In fact, even though I got this pair for free from Suki, I do plan on spending my own money to get at least two or three more pairs of these. I like them so much. Nothing like finding a bib that just fits you well, that's consistent. You pop it on, go for a ride, and you don't think anything about it. Like I said earlier, if you are interested in purchasing these bibs, I do have an affiliate link in the description. It does save you 15% off the purchase of these on Suki.cc. I do get a small little kickback about worth the price of a cup of coffee, but I hope in this video that I've earned that cup of coffee by explaining to you everything involved about these bib shorts. If you have any questions about these comments, if you have them yourself, uh, feel free to drop it in the comments of this video. If you found this video informative, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. At the time I'm making this video, I'm closing in on a thousand subscribers, which is a pretty big milestone for a YouTube channel. So I do want to thank everybody who's subscribed up to this point. I do all kinds of different cycling videos from Zwift workouts and races. 
I do outdoor group rides. I talk about my progress as from a beginner to sort of mid intermediate where I am right now. Um, I do long-term reviews like I did of these Suki bibs. So thank you so much for joining me today and I will catch you next time.